Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bhagirwa. Welcome to my channel. Today I am starting a new Salesforce series that is Flow Builder. So in this series, I am going to talk about screen, record trigger, schedule, or text trigger flows. So let's get started. So in this video specifically, I am going to talk about a screen flow. So uh, let's try to create a scenario in which uh, I'm going to provide a screen to upload files and when I upload a file from that screen, it's going to upload it and attach it on the contacts account record. Okay, not on the contact, it will upload it on the account attached on that specific contact. So let's start with that. So I'm going to create a new flow. Selecting screen flow here click create gonna add a screen here first let me give a label to this flow file upload contacts account file upload on contacts account okay now here I'm going to put the component of file upload. So let's give it a name as file upload. And for label. Now you need to configure the related record ID on which this uploaded file is going to be attached. So I'm going to create a new resource here selecting the resource type as variable and giving the api name as contact record data type i'm selecting as record object i'm selecting as contact okay click done so that is uh, configured that uh, your your contact is now uh, stored in this variable now you need to provide a specifically record id here so i'm just gonna put a dot here and then id and i'm selecting this so now uh, you have the contact record id here but there is a twist here because we are not attaching this uploaded file on the contact record so instead of id i need to provide the account id so i'll go to attached account and from here i'm gonna use the id so that would be my account id so this means that whatever file you are going to update from the context screen using this screen that is going to be attached on the contacts account record okay now you need to provide the uploaded file names here so just go to this file upload screen component and select this uploaded file names okay click done click save i am giving it the name as file upload on contacts account click save now let's see some debugging whether it is working properly or not so i'm gonna click debug button so first uh, let's see click run no it is not configured properly because it has not asked me the contact record so let's see in the contact record let me make it available for output then let's see the debug again no still not and let me make it available for input as well click save debug again yeah so that means you need to uh, use available for input for this contact record variable which we have defined okay so now i'm gonna select uh, let's say this contact over here or uh, let me select this one click run i'm gonna 
upload any file here click turn and click finish so as you can see the file upload has contact document version id file names so no error it has given to me and let's see what has happened record id is coming null here i'm not sure why it is coming null here maybe there is no record id on this contact so let's see uh, it in real time i'm just gonna activate it i will go to this contact and first i would need to add this screen on the page so i would need to go to the app builder so here you can see the flow component is there in the standard components i'm gonna drag it and drop it here and here i'm gonna select the flow which we have created so that would be our file upload of contacts account one column layout is fine and here things to remember that uh, you need to click this checkbox that pass all field values from the record into this flow variable so this selection uh, provides the contact id to this flow and based on that contact id it's gonna get that account id and it's gonna attach the document which you upload on the account record of this contact so i'm just gonna save it now and go back so this is a contact and this our component screen component has come here this is the account which is attached to this contact and your deal is in null stage your deal is in null stage this account does not have any not sign attachments over here so let's try to upload one from here click done and click finish now let's see whether the attachment has come on this account or not yeah so it has come so as you can see and let me refresh the contact as well to make sure that uh, attachment has not come over to the contact so it has not come so that means the uh, screen flow working properly whenever you are attaching some document using this screen on contact layout it's attaching that document on the attached account on this contact record so that was all about this video that's how you can configure uh, a screen flow uh, this is this was just a basic scenario which you can uh, you know configure and you can do many more things using screen flow you can create tasks you can create case records and you can create wizards like screens uh, to follow a specific process so so many things you can uh, create you can using these screen flows but in this video i'm gonna just talk about this much so that was all about this video if you find this helpful please like this video and comment on it if you need some more information about it and please subscribe my channel for more thank you